In this video, we will be discussing about uh, extension ledger functionality in S4 HANA 1909. So the first point is, what is extension ledger? So extension ledger is a kind of delta ledger which has been introduced by SAP. We have always been known about the standard ledger, leading ledger, non-leading ledger. So this is called an extension ledger. So the only difference is between uh, valuations are posted into extension ledger. So if there is a difference between the valuation in your leading ledger and non-leading, it will go to the extension ledger. And of course, at the end, extension ledger always must have an assigned standard ledger as an underlying ledger. The postings to underlying ledger will also apply to extension ledger. So it's like, you know, anything you post on, on main ledger, it will automatically go to extension ledger. In the reporting on extension ledger, uh, the data from underlying ledger is always accessed and displayed together with delta posting. So it's like, you know, you post on a standard ledger, it will automatically go to extension ledger, but anything you post specifically on extension ledger will not go to standard ledger. So when you pull the report for extension ledger, you will get the standard ledger posting plus any additional posting done on extension ledger. What are the advantages? So first is very flexible. Of course, uh, you need to do some config, but there is no kind of data migration re required. Reuse of existing reports. So existing reports are tuned in, in a way that you can, they are fit for extension ledger and reduce data footprint. So as you know, uh, as I said, standard ledger will have the data and the extension ledger will also have the same data, but it's not that it is being stored in different tables. Same data is accessed by the, both ledgers, but it is still still at a sing, single data footprint. And anything which is difference as a delta posting on extension will also be residing in the in the one table. So it's like you know you would have less data footprint, but data is accessible in two formats. That's an advantage. A very common question comes: Is there a replacement of a standard ledger? So the answer is no. Because I already, already mentioned anything you post on a standard ledger also goes on an extension ledger. So it can be posted via manual posting. You can make FB50L, the ledger specific posting, FB01L, again, the ledger specific posting, and of course, KB1, KB41, or any apps related to these transactions. Any interface or any GL allocations, Fagel 15, 11, 31, 35, work on top of extension ledger. However, you cannot post any vendor line item, customer line item, any operational document on these. So these, the purpose is that for any tax ledger or any adjustment posting has to happen on extension ledger for your reporting purposes. But you should not post any operational document like any customer invoice, customer payment or vendor invoice or any vendor posting or on the extension ledger. These are the restrictions I just mentioned. No posting to vendor or customer recon accounts. No posting to GL account with open item management. No integration with asset accounting. Only very few automatic processes work with uh, extension ledger, which is GL allocation. So all these postings you can make on standard ledger, which will automatically go to extension ledger. But if you select extension ledger for posting, you can only do remitted posting because that's a purpose of extension ledger that you cannot post everything on the normal transaction. So that's a purpose of extension ledger. To summarize, you have one standard ledger, one extension ledger. Extension is a combination of standard plus any delta posting. So when you run the report for a standard, you do your standard reporting. But if you do a management reporting, you want to pull all your standard data set plus any delta you have done. So you use that, that uh, extension ledger for additional reporting. No extra transactions or standard business operational transactions can be posted to delta extension ledger. And additionally, data footprint is something very important because you don't, you are not storing data in two tables or two separate ways. Same data is accessed by different uh, ledgers. So that's about extension ledger in S4 HANA. Uh, we have several videos available on the channel. Feel free to like, share and subscribe the video. Any question you have, feel free to post uh, on the YouTube comment. I would be happy to answer those questions. Thank you so much for today and uh, of course, you know, share the feedback, share the questions and do like the videos. Thank you.